All right, great. Welcome, 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 guys. Welcome. All right, so I want to share a, a thought with you quickly. I was reasoning with myself the way I've oftentimes done. All right? Love reasoning with myself before I say it to someone. All right? Um, I remember Deacon Palmer from the Granville Baptist Church. She oft, oftentimes say, oh, we should taste our words before we use them. All right? So, oftentimes run things through my head first before actually... Um, come and say it out to the public, right? I was thinking to myself um, about the Jamaican culture, the culture of my people. What is culture? Culture is, culture is basically a way of life. It is a way you have been living for a number of years. You call it a culture, the practices that you engage in. And over a period of time, that becomes tradition. So culture really is your way of life. It's the way you've been living. Um, and someone might ask, what is the Jamaican culture? Well, if I should answer that question, the Jamaican culture is that we, by tradition, we love rice and peas on a Sunday evening. We love soup on a Saturday evening. We love blue jars. We love turn corn meal. We love cornmeal porridge. Um, we love fried lumpen and egg and ripe plant and for breakfast. Um, instead of corn, um, corn flakes, uh, we love roast corn. We love to roast our potato. We love to roast our yams with salt fish. We love reddering. We love ackee and saltfish, which is a national dish. That's the Jamaican culture. Those are things that are unique to Jamaica. All right, so when you go across the Caribbean, you might not see these practices. You go to certain places in the world, you might not see it. We love jerk chicken and jerk pork. We're known for that. That is a part of our culture. And of course, that culture is influenced by our African heritage. And culture sometimes change. You don't find the same thing every single um, century. You might find a shift in an adjustment of the culture within a a century, each century, all right, because there are practices which we are doing now which might not be, which we may not, is a possibility we may, um, is a possibility we were not doing it 200 years ago, um, or, 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 or as a case where we're not doing it the same way, because when I went to Portland, um, they were not using a jerk pan. 200 years ago, they used to dig the oil, and I saw it also in a documentary in Africa. They dig the oil and they put the fire coal on top of the pig, and they cover it down with leaves. That practice is still being done in Africa. But yes, we're now using the jerk pan to jerk our chicken, jerk our pork. Still jerk pork, a part of our culture, but being done a different way, all right? Uh, for example, now we're doing the, the blow jars. A number of persons, including myself, did not master the tying of it with the banana leaf. So I do it in the bag. We did some this week, and it was beautiful. We put carrot in it. We had carrot. We had a plantain. We had cornmeal. Flour, of course. And we use a coconut juice, which is the best. Um, we, I grate the coconut and we put also some of the coconut trash into it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, and we made some and we had it for breakfast. And that was beautiful. That was a part of our Jamaican heritage, part of our Jamaican culture. But what I find though, and the, what I want to talk about is, oh, it took me this long to get to what I'm gonna, I want to talk about. I, I diverted earlier. For, excuse me for that. What I want to do on this video is to point out the, the fact that I'm not seeing where we're using the, um, we're using technology, we're using um, social media to share the culture. Um, I'm trying to find a topic, a proper topic. I don't think that what I just said was good enough, right? I'm trying to look at the culture and the social media. 
how should I say, social media on, and the culture. I'm, I'm trying to find some that real pops, but let me just get along. This is of wasting your, wasting your time trying to find a topic. But I know the, the, the topic I have in my mind, but I don't, I don't think I'm saying it the most eloquent way. Um, I'm talking about the, so, the culture today with the use of technology. I am looking at is Jamaican culture, has the Jamaican culture benefited from the use of social media? I want to go back to 2000 when Digicel came into Jamaica. Of course, we had Lime years before. There was big phones, who can forget them? Going to the, the phone booth to stand up there all night, listening to people conversation while they're calling the persons in the States. They're listening to your conversation as well, waiting for you to get off the phone so that they can come on to use the phone. Yeah, that, those days, right? When you, you, you had no privacy at the phone booth because there was a line waiting and persons can't wait for you to get off the phone. But they just like, came and there was a shift, there's a paradigm, there's a new paradigm was Oh, yeah, you can stay home and make your own phone calls. Digital is there. I'm looking at, I think, and I feel it in my spirit. I'm not sure I'm the person would share the same perspective. But I think, though, that since we are using the technology in 2000, today is 21 years later, I'm not seeing where there is a sharing of the Jamaican culture. I'm not seeing where we have pushed the Jamaican culture to the world through the use of social media. And let me tell you why, why I feel that way. I'm not saying that it isn't. I'm just sharing my perspective that I'm not convinced that the use of, of technology, the use of social media, the use of all these social platforms, the Facebook, the messenger, the WhatsApp, the Instagram, and not seeing where it has been used to push the Jamaican culture and market the Jamaican culture to the world. And let me tell you what. Before we had the technology, it was a case where we go to the market, go to the market in Martin Bay. And for those who are living in different, different parishes can relate to the market within their um, parish, right? You go to the Morant Bay market and you see an exchange of conversation, an exchange of idea. You go on the bus, or we used to drive on the bus from Mr. Rowan bus from Trinidadville to Morant Bay or back. You, 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 you get that exchange of ideas. Um, persons exchanging the different flavors they use in their cooking. Uh, um, persons exchanging um, the different menus that they can use, person exchanging the different types of ingredients you can use in a particular meal. Uh, for example, one person is saying, look, I put yam in my pudding. A person is like, oh, I've never done that before. And someone is saying, oh, I put carrots in my blue jars. And someone is saying, oh, I've never done that before. I must try it. And you, you get that exchange of um, information. People Exchange, exchanging information about the culture and the, their cultural identity, the things that they do to survive each day. These things which make us unique as Jamaicans. You get people exchanging ideas about rearing of their children, exchanging ideas of things they do inside of the house, th ways in which they use their hands to turn fashion, um, ways in which they, um, they were short an ingredient and Jamaican people know how to cook a meal short of ingredient. We know how to burn the sugar when there's no browning. All right, we know how to get a piece of butter and make oil when you have nothing um, thing to fry. We know how to grease the, 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 the pot bottom to, to make jack dumpling when the oil is low. We know that, we're creative in that way. And just the sharing of information which uh, facilitate the growth and expansion of our culture, our cultural practices. You hear people sharing ideas about rearing animals, um, how they, they saddle their donkey, um, 
do, where, where should you put the load? Do you put the load close to the front leg? Or do you put the load closer to the back leg? The sharing of information, or you do all of these things. People were sharing information about their daily survival. The things that make you unique as a Jamaican. And you go to the supermarket, and while you're in the supermarket line, people were exchanging information. People were making money stretch, and people were sharing information about how can you make your thousand dollars stretch a little further to serve your family. Which bread should you buy when you go to the bakery? When you go to Young Sang Bakery, all oh, the yummy Young Sang Bakery. Which bread should you buy, and how 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 thick do you slice your bread, or what way um, do you hide the bread on a Saturday night so it's safe for a Sunday morning, or do you put your bread open on the table on a Saturday night? That is risky because you might lose a few slices before day breaks on the morning, and the bread is for Sunday morning. It is our Jamaican culture to have a bread for Sunday morning. It is a part of our Jamaican culture to have fitters or, or, or colourloo on a Sunday morning. And people are sharing information. They're sharing ideas. With the technology, since 2000, and we get on Facebook and we get on WhatsApp and we get on Instagram, I think we're more bombarded by the American culture and the European culture. I think we're more struggling to... To, re to, 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 to maintain our identity. I think we have pushed aside our own uniqueness to, to, to be more accommodative to the, the things happening in Europe and the things happening in the various parts of the world, which is not bad. I'm not saying that is bad. Don't get me wrong. All right, because it's good to know what's going on in the world. But I'm just not seeing where we're sharing information about what makes us unique as a people our own identity? Is it a case where we are ashamed of what we used to do in comparison to what we're seeing going on in various parts of the world? Interestingly, we might not be embracing what we're experiencing, but there are persons who are coming from where we want to go, coming to us because they're attracted to what we're doing. So we're here, um, don't care about what we have, while someone somewhere where we want to go is so concerned about coming to where we are to enjoy what we have. And I just think that social media has not done the Jamaican culture justice. I don't think my Jamaican people, um, and when I say Jamaican people, let me get this clear because we, or we oftentimes think because you're black means you are Jamaican alone. You're the only Jamaican. All right, that's not so. All right, every single Jack man and woman who has, who, who have a um, an, an, an identification which state that you're a citizen of this country, you are a Jamaican. You have a passport, you have a driver's license, you have a national ID which says that you are if in Jamaica, you are a Jamaican. All right, you, whether, whether you're a Jamaican by birth or you're Jamaican through marriage, you are a Jamaican. Doesn't matter if you're red, white, yellow, pink, blue, or black. You're a Jamaican. But oftentimes when we say you're a Jamaican, we oftentimes think that, okay, you're black. All right? Like, like a child would say, for example, um, this, this, this little girl asked, I can remember this girl I know who her parents are Chinese. She's born Jamaican though. And someone was asking her, are you Jamaican? You know? Because, um, because she's Chinese, because she's, she's, she's white, as we, we call Chinese white. Um, she was being asked and questioned of her Jamaican nationality. As if, because she's Chinese, she's not supposed to be Jamaican. But what makes you Jamaican? <laughs> Jamaica, being Jamaican is not a race. You're Chinese, you will say that a race. Um, Indian, you will say that a race. Um, black people, you will say that a race. They call those race. But being Jamaican doesn't mean you have to be black. Um, being American doesn't mean you have to be white. There are Chinese people in America. They, you're citizens of America. All right? If, if I go to China and, and marry to a Chinese woman, uh, I'm not a Chinese, but I'm a citizen of China. All right? It's because China is a race. It's a race of people. Chinese is a race. But when you come to Jamaica, you are Jamaican because Jamaica is not a race. It's a place where all of us come. 
All right, our four parents came to Jamaica. They reside here, and then they. Uh, who came first? Who came first? Uh, the Chinese came before the Indians, I think. The Chinese came to, I think, the lower part of the Caribbean first before they came to Jamaica. I think the Chinese came in before the Indians. The Indians were brought in as indentured laborers. I'm trying to remember. It's a very close period of time they came to Jamaica. Uh, was, it in the, was it in the 1800, 18? I'm trying to remember. Um... 1804, 1865 was the Marant Bay Rebellion. Uh, we had what before that? Before that, we had 1832. It was what? Um, was Samuel Sharp was killed? Uh, we had the indentured ship between that. Indentured labor was start coming. I'm, I'm trying to remember if it was about 1850. The Indians and Chinese started coming. 1834 to 1838 was the indentured period where um, blacks were given that, that, that chance to go back to school, to do, do skill work and all of that. The apprenticeship period, 1834, 1830. That was two years after they killed Samuel Sharp. Uh, and then I think about 18, within 1840 to 1850, I think the Chinese and the Indians started coming. And the Chinese came, I think, to the Panama Canal first to work. Uh, they couldn't manage the work. When they came to Jamaica, they were employed to farms. They were not doing well. Um, they went into business. The Indians also came from India to work as indentured labor because by that time, slave was abolished. The slave Atlantic slave trade was abolished from, I think, about 1811. 1811. I think about 1811. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I think about 1811. 1811. The slave Atlantic slave trade was ended. And then we were fully emancipated 1838. Yes, Emancipation Day is August 1st, 1838. That's, why, that's the reason why we say Emancipation Day on August 1st. Because August the 1st, 1838, we were fully emancipated. August the 6th, 1962, we were, first, we were fully independent. That's a different date, right? So the in, I think about the 4th, 94 to 45, 50, they were about the Indians and the Chinese, they came in. They are Jamaicans. Not because their skin is not as um, not white as mine. Mine is black. They're, they're not black as me. Um, doesn't make them Jamaican. Does not mean that they're not Jamaican. They are Jamaican, all right. These Chinese, yes, they are white, but they are born Jamaican. If you look at their passport, if you look at their birth paper, they are Jamaican. They were born in Jamaican hospitals, all right. But there is something which is unique about us as Black people, which we have been doing long before the Chinese came, before the Indians came. Yes, the Chinese came with. Uh, rice, uh, lots of rice. The Chinese love rice. The Indians, they came with the roti and the curry. And we love curry chicken, right? <laughs> we don't make love curry chicken. Well, that that love for curry, I think that, that the Indians, I'm not, we, we know what, we love spice as black people coming out of Africa. But this curry, 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 curry business, I, I'm, I'm thinking, if, I'm wondering if it comes from the Indians. And I do not want to say it is because I, I, I've not done the research, right? But I know the Chinese, they love noodle and they love rice. If you see a Chinese who does not love noodle and rice, something is possibly wrong. <laughs> if you see an Indian who does not love curry and curry and roti, and what's the other one they call it again? I don't remember the other one. But they love it. And the, the Indians also love pepper. But we love pepper also because um, our pepper, we, we, we were using it with the jerk pork and the jerk this and the jerk that. We used to jerk everything. All right, so, but, so the Jamaican culture is not, it's, it's not, it's something which is unique to us as African descendants who came to the Caribbean. All right, yes, we're mixed with different, different cultures because the Chinese man came with his culture, the Indian came with his culture, and people from all over the world come, came with their culture. But there's something which remains unique about Jamaicans, the black people of Jamaica. Let me stop saying Jamaicans. The black people in Jamaica. Something which is unique about us. 
which we carry that from our African heritage, right? which was here long before the Indians and the Chinese came. But somewhere along the line, it seemed as if since the technology um, comes in, I see where we seem not to be proud of our Jamaicanness, you know, um, our African heritage. We seem not to be proud of it. I think we are more grabbing off uh, what is going on in Europe and what is going on in North America. When I say North America, particularly um, United States and Canada. I think we're more drawn into those things, we're more attracted to those things than our own cultural heritage. So that's what I want to share though. I won't take up too much of your time. I just want to share that my concern is that since 2000, when we get access to the, in, to, 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 um, well, it was not with, when did we get um, smartphones? I'm trying to remember. Well, the Blackberries and the, and, and the, um, were here before that. But since 2000, when Digital like, came in and it, technology become widespread across Jamaica, I'm not seeing where we're using it or we have used it to celebrate and to share um, the uniqueness of what makes us um, Jamaicans. Uh, when you hear of Jamaica, when you hear of the Caribbean people, when you hear of those of African descent, what is unique about them? What is unique about me and you? I don't, I don't think we're using technology to really share that with the world. That, hey, look over here. We're Jamaicans. This is what we do. Um, we love jerk chicken. We love blue jars. We, we love total. We love pudding. We love coconut drops. This is what we do. You might not find it anywhere in the world, but here's it. This is what we have. We're not, I don't think we're proud of it. I think we're more caught up in trying to be other persons are trying to take on other cultures other than our own. And that's what I want to share. All right? That I'm just not seeing where we're using technology to share our uniqueness as a people here on the highland. God bless.